Hello, this is Jamie Romano Hilligus with your exhibitor update for the week of September 21st. This is our last week before buyer preview begins for those in the silver package and above, so there's lots of information to make sure you check out. First, I want to start by talking about um, a common question I'm receiving, uh, and that is about the difference between registering to attend and linking your team members to your marketplace page. So I want to make sure everybody's really clear on what the difference is, what you need to make sure your team members do right away. Um, team members, if you want them to be visible or recommended to buyers when they go in for buyer preview next week, they do have to be registered for the event but they don't have to be linked to your marketplace page. So I know a lot of people have been concerned because they haven't seen the ability to link team members yet. That's coming, we're gonna talk about that in just a minute, but just wanted to make sure you understand that it's really them registering for the event that's the very important thing for them to do right away. So um, you received complimentary codes, with your packages, uh, you wanna make sure you share those with your team members because that will make sure that when they register that they're not asked for payment information. Um, also, I included a link to what questions they're gonna be asked on the registration form. I know many of them are used to you doing the registration for them. So this is a way for them to just see what they're gonna be asked and, and help make it quicker and easier as they go through. Uh, again, make sure they register this week. You can check, uh, if you log into the attendee list, there's that section about managing your complimentary registrations. That's where you can see who registered or not using those codes so that you can you know, have an idea of who's done or not. Uh, the linking to the marketplace page piece, so that's gonna be available this Friday, or excuse me, this Thursday. Uh, your team members must be registered the event in order for you to see them and be able to link them to your page in the system. So again, that part is really important. Um, the linking to the marketplace page, what it's going to do is it's going to give team members the ability to modify your page, they can answer and assign meeting requests, and they can share any contacts made during the event. So you'll be able to see all the contacts made from all your team members in one place if they're linked to your page. Um, adding, to them, adding them to your page will also make them show up towards the bottom. So if you scroll down, you'll see each individual team member, and then that lets a buyer um, click on a specific individual and make an appointment with just them versus selecting from the, the meeting times that would be available at the top of your marketplace page. Uh, so again, really important to understand that difference, and the priority is to make sure team members register this week. There is this page in the Exhibitor Setup Guide that shows you how to link team members. Uh, once this is live, you'll be able to go to the Your Team tab, which is right in your Exhibitor Center on the left, and you'll see the option to add a member. So as soon as we make that live, you'll see the Add a Member option. Wanted to mention some really cool stuff about buyer engagement. We are receiving a lot of large group registrations. Um, you know, you can see here, you got Albertsons with more than 170, Walmart and Sam's Club with more than 140. Uh, you can see the other examples up here on the screen. We're, we're really excited about the participation. Um, you can go to the website, and I included a link right here in the slides, where you can see all the buying companies for each marketplace that are currently registered. So you'll be able to click on the solutions marketplace or produce or floral and see the companies that registered and said that one of the reasons they were coming to attend was to buy from that marketplace. So be sure to check that out. Um, you can also download the attendee list so you can start communicating with people. Remember your primary and secondary booth contacts only do have access to download an Excel list with email addresses in it. Uh, just keep in mind, due to GDPR guidelines, we do have to ask attendees um, if they want to be shown on the attendee list. So if they opted out, you won't see them on that download. Note that that is separate, though, from the platform itself. So all attendees will be in the platform itself. That opting out was just to show on that downloaded Excel list. Um, we are continuing to reach out to potential buyers for all the marketplaces. So as you're checking out that attendee list or that buying company list, if there's companies you don't see yet that you are really wanting to connect with, shoot me an email because we'll go after them and try to see if we can get them to the event. Um, also, be sure to check that attendee list I mentioned frequently. Um, we're really noticing that registrations tend to come in later for virtual events. I think especially for the non-buying groups or just overall attendees. Uh, so, so keep checking back at that list. 
Okay, hopefully you saw in my email last Friday that we do have a webinar for sales team members coming up this week. Um, it's going to be on Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. If you have not already done so, please send out the link for your sales team members to register. Um, if they can uh, attend, I will be sending a recording of the webinar out by Friday, so you'll be able to share that with anyone that can attend. Uh, but if they can, it would be great because it'll provide an opportunity for them to ask any questions they have. Uh, in the webinar, I'm going to cover overall platform navigation. I'm going to show them where they go and how to set up their profile, things they really want to think about on that, um, how to update their individual meeting schedule so times don't show where they're not really available. I'll go through all the different ways that they can connect with potential customers and network so that they can really make sure that they're driving traffic to your marketplace page and making connections so that you can get more meetings. Um, and I'll also talk to them a little bit about how it's going to work as far as when they can start initiating connection and meeting requests. Because remember, for buyer preview, uh, only buyers can initiate those requests. Uh, if you are getting any questions from your sales team members that you didn't hear me just talk about, let me know right away and um, I'll try to include those in the webinar tomorrow. So anything you can think of, just shoot me an email. What to expect this week? There is a lot going on. On Wednesday, uh, we'll have exhibitor office hours. That's your chance to just pop in, ask any questions. I can show you things on, on screen sharing. So be sure to take that link included here and put it on your calendar as an appointment so you can log in for that. Uh, on Thursday, that's when a lot of the things will go live that you've been wanting to look at. So you'll be able to see the attendee view of the marketplace, the Fresh Ideas Showcase, and the exhibitor highlights pages. So you can check out how to look to attendees, make any tweaks, uh, note that it is going to be available for all exhibitors to see. Uh, there will be a couple pages you still can't see, and that's the attendee list and the schedule. So there's some things we're still working on. Um, at that same time, you should see the ability to link your team members now available again. So if you go to the exhibitor center and you click on your team, you'll be able to add members right from there. Uh, again, as I mentioned, they have to be registered to attend in order for you to see them and link them. The mobile app is also going to be in the App Store this week, so uh, once that's available, you can download it and check it out. It does include pretty much all the same features as what you see uh, when you're on your desktop, de desktop excuse me. Um, but just keep in mind uh, one thing, a lot of you did really cool backgrounds on your pages, which by the way, the Marketplace pages are looking amazing. Um, if you did a background, just keep in mind it will not show in the mobile app. It just doesn't translate to the smaller screen, so don't be alarmed if you don't see that there aren't backgrounds in the mobile app. Uh, we talked about the sales team webinar coming up on Thursday. Uh, Friday, I'll be sending out a recording of that webinar. And also, I just wanted to mention to bronze level marketplace page uh, companies, those pages are going to be hidden this weekend in preparation for buyer preview. So make sure if you want to take a quick look at those uh, from the attendee perspective, do that on Thursday or Friday when they're live because those will be hidden again this weekend. Um, you'll have other opportunities to see them and you can still continue to make updates to your pages during buyer preview. They just aren't visible at that time. Um, you don't have to just wait to see an email from me to see when all those things are coming live. Uh, you can go right into your exhibitor center and right at the top of the screen where you see your name in the top right corner, you'll see a button that says switch to the event. If you click on that, once everything's live, you'll be able to see more tabs across the top. I think right now you can see like the home page uh, and maybe a help desk or something like that, but you'll be able to see all the tabs that we make live right from there once it happens on Thursday. So you can check that periodically to see if it's live. Don't just look for an email from me. I know sometimes they get stuck in spam. These are all the resources that we've been including. So a quick way for you to get to setup guide and things like that. As always, please make sure you just give one of us a call if there's anything at all we can do to help you. Um, we're really excited for the event to start. Really appreciate your partnership and look forward to talking with you soon.